Let's talk about the hand rule for moving charge in a magnetic field. So this is what I like to call hand rule number three. Now that's because the first hand rule was what we did for a wire, um, like you know, with a current, and then we were using our hand rule like this here to figure out then the direction of the magnetic field. Hand rule number two is for a solenoid, which is like a coil of wire, so that's when we curl our fingers in the direction of the current, and our thumb tells us the magnetic field. This one, I think, is the most important one. At least it's, it's the one that causes students the most problems, certainly. Uh, so there's some tricks for this right here. I'm going to show you at least how I like to do these. There's lots of ways of, of uh, doing these ones, but I'm going to show you at least how I like to understand it. First of all, just remember that we have these, you know, up, right, down, and left as directions, but we've also got out of the page and into the page. So do you remember that uh, out of the page, for example, we tend to write it with a dot, and into the page we write something with an X. So for example, we would write that for like, typically like magnetic fields, for example. So this one right here, there's a lot of teachers use this, uh, I think it looks kind of like a physics gang sign or something, it's some weird sort of thing like this here called Fleming's left hand rule, but then which hand rule should you use? Some people, you know, say like freeze, FBI. Um, there's another one right here like, you know, you can use a sort of slap rule or something like that. Th that's actually what I'm going to be showing you is like a modified version of that one. I was inspired actually by Star Wars. I'm a real nerd. If you've seen the uh, original three Star Wars movies, so the last one of those ones called Return of the Jedi, in the one of the final scenes, I mean, spoilers, but uh, there's the Emperor here, he's a big mean guy, and he's shooting lightning bolts out of his fingertips. So sort of inspired by that. So I'm going to show you uh, left and right hand rules with that. Now, uh, that's what LHR stands for, left hand rule, and then we have right hand rule. Now remember, though, that in the IB, we use conventional current. So that means we're using the, the, the um, current of positive charges. Now, in real life, we know that it's negative charges, but for some reason, in the IB, we use conventional current. So what I'm going to show you is going to hold true for IB currents. If you're uh, looking at electron flow current, then you'll have to use uh, the left hand rule for currents. But I'm going to show you a little trick how I remember it. So left hand rule I use, for example, uh, with negative particles. So for example, electrons, uh, well actually yeah, electrons mainly. Right hand rule is uh, positive particles, so things like protons, whatever, but also for current because, like I said, we're using the direction of positive particles for current. So we're going to use a right hand rule here. And a dumb way that I remember this right here, this is so stupid, but uh, I like to call them electrons instead of electrons. That reminds me, oh, use the left hand rule for electrons. That's a really stupid word, I know, but there we go. This helps. So l how do we do this? Let's just uh, say we pick the right hand rule here. So for positive particles or for current, what do we do? Well, I'm inspired by this over here with the Emperor shooting his lightning bolts out of his fingertips. So instead of lightning bolts, we're going to be shooting out uh, magnetic field lines instead. So these are here going to be magnetic field, which we're going to call B. Okay, now that we have that, well, our thumb, and by the way, you have to hold your hand like this. Not like this, but like this, okay? So I just hold my hand, just imagine, just like this here. That's what I do. So imagine then, uh, this one right here then, uh, what is your thumb going to be? Your thumb's going to be the velocity of the particle, but it's also going to be the current. Now, why would that be? Well, I mean, if it's just a particle, for example, like a positive particle that's, you know, zipping along, then we're going to use that, you know, that direction of that particle. That'll be the thumb. Or if we have current going on, then that'll be the direction of current. That'll be your thumb. Now, why do I like this one here? It's because in Star Wars, if you've ever seen those uh, movies or shows, things like that, they're always talking about the force, you know, like use the force. Well, uh, I think like, you know, if I want to force someone away from me, what would I do? I would push someone away from me. So your palm is the force. I like this. So that way your palm is the force. You're going to force someone away from you. So now how do I draw the palm in this case right here? Well, uh, I'll draw it with an X. So I'll say like this right here, and I'll say that is the force. Okay, so the palm is your force. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the left hand rule as well. I don't have to do all the writing right there, so I'll just, you know, go like this and say, okay, so this right here is B. Remember, your thumb is going to be the direction of the velocity, in this case here, of your electrons, because it's going to be negatives. And remember, this one right here, your palm is the force. Now, what if you've different, learned a different way to solve these? That's perfectly fine, okay? So if you like this, you know, FBI trick, this, you know, gang sign thing right here, whatever it is, if you like that, if that works for you, 
great. Okay, I'm not trying to tell you it's wrong, whatever works. But for me personally, at least, this is what works for me, so that's what I'm gonna show you. So when I'm doing examples, I'm gonna show you how I solve this using this trick here, this sort of Star Wars trick. Okay, so let's look at an example here. So we have an electron. Ooh, right away, electron, what kind of charge is that? It's negative. So what am I gonna use then? I'm gonna use left hand rule. Left hand because they're electrons, haha. <laughs> okay, so it goes, uh, moves to the right. Um, in a magnetic field directed into the page. So do you notice I've drawn these X's are here? Those X's denote the magnetic field that's going into the page. Now, um, I am aware that with the video that you see, I think the image is uh, reversed. So um, I just want you to listen carefully to what I'm gonna say. So first of all, I want you to try this out actually. Get out your left hand. This is my left hand at least this way. Uh, I mean for you it probably looks like this right here. That'll be your left hand, but there we go. So get out your left hand. And what I want you to do then is I always put my fingertips first into the uh, magnetic field. So in this case, where's the magnetic field? It's into the page. So I'm gonna put my you know fingers into the page. Okay, so that means they're actually pointed like at the screen right now. Okay, and then I make sure that my thumb then, that's the direction of the velocity, so which way does that go? Well, my thumb has to point to the right. Why is it to the right? Because that's the direction of the velocity. That's the direction that my little electron is going. It's going to the right. So now I got my fingertips into the page, my thumb is to the right, and where does my palm point? My palm is pointing down, does that make sense? My palm is down. Well, that tells me that it's going to go down, but then if you do it again, it's going to go down and down and down. It's basically going to curve, and it's going to curve downwards like this here. So I can write that down like this. So I can say it curves downwards. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so in this example now, I've got a proton, and remember a proton is a positive particle. And uh, what does it do? It moves to the right in a magnetic field that's directed upwards. Well, let's first uh, deal with this. If it's a proton, that's a left or right hand rule it's gonna be the right hand rule because it's not an electron, okay? So I'm gonna use right hand rule. In fact, I'm gonna use right hand rule number three. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Well, if I look at this, there's my little proton, it's moving to the right, and it's entering a magnetic field that's not into the page or out of the page. This magnetic field is going up. Okay, so I'm gonna get out my trusty right hand, and what am I gonna do? Well, first, I always put my fingertips, at least, in the direction of the magnetic field, so in this case, I'm gonna make them upwards. Then I'm going to take my thumb, and let's see, my thumb has to go towards the right, and then because of that, my palm is going to be facing towards me. Okay, so what does that mean? If I've got my palm is out of the page, that means that this particle, I can't see it, I can't really draw its path because it's 3D here. This is going to curve out of the page. Can you see that? So it's going to, it's going to be moving to the right, and then it's going to curve out of the page towards my face, so to speak. So imagine on the screen, it's going to curve up. Okay, so maybe if you like this kid right here, <laughs> finally understanding electromagnetism, let's see. What about if it was a neutron? It's sort of a trick question, but I've seen this on exams before. Imagine it's a neutral particle. Well, if it has no charge, how do I decide if I use left-hand rule for electrons, that's, you know, uh, negative particles, or right-hand rule for positive particles? What do I do if it has no charge? Well, that's a trick question. Um, we don't use any hand rule because a neutron won't feel the magnetic field. It'll just go straight through and deflect it. Okay, so that's it for that one. Let's do one last example. So here we have an example where we have a horizontal wire that's placed perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field. Now I've done my best to try to do this drawing right here, so I hope it's clear-ish. Okay, the wire, we're told, is gonna feel an upwards magnetic force, and we're gonna be ignoring gravity in this case. And the question is, what's the direction of the current in the wire? Huh. So I think it helps to know which hand rule we should use. Well, um, first of all, is it left or right hand rule? It's going to be left hand rule if it's electrons, right hand rule if it's positive or current. We've got a current going on, so that means I'm going to use the right hand rule number three. Okay, to do this then, okay, I got my right hand, there we go. But what do I need to do? I need to figure out the direction of my magnetic fields. Hey, wait, that's not clear here, is it? Which way does the magnetic field go? So we have a little extra step to do. Do you remember the rule for magnetic fields? Magnetic fields are always drawn as the direction that a north on a compass would point. So imagine if you put yourself right here, near a north. Would you want to go towards that north or away from it? You'd want to go away. A north and a north don't like each other. So that means in this case right here, with the way they've drawn it, that means we can tell that uh, the magnetic field lines are actually going across like this right here. So this is actually the direction of the magnetic field. 
Okay, I thought I'd just try to draw it a little bit better. So what am I gonna do now? I get up my trusty right hand, and what do I do? I'm gonna place my fingers to the left, in this case here, so I'm gonna put my fingers to the left, and then I don't know the current. In fact, that's what I'm asking, uh, I'm asked for, but I do know the force. Remember, the force is your palm. If it feels an upwards force, that means I have to have my palm upwards. Because of that, at least the way I am, my, my thumb then is pointed into the page. Okay, so if my uh, current then goes into the page, what does that mean? That means the direction of the current then would be from A to B. And that's it.